price imbalance is a very important concept to understand as it can be incredibly powerful. So imbalances occur when either buyers or sellers take control over a particular piece of price action, where essentially it leaves gaps in the market that price will eventually come back to in the future so we can rebalance price before either continuing or continuing in that direction. So when we look at a bearish imbalance, it means sellers have been mostly dominant um, in, in moving price down and the buyers haven't had a chance to get involved. So the same is true for when we see a bullish imbalance, buyers take control and the sellers don't get involved um, in the majority of that move. So imbalances occur on every single time frame. So from the monthly all the way down to even you know a seconds time frame. Uh, you'll see it happen on, on every time frame. And once you go through your charts to see how this works, you will start to view the markets differently and realize how price refills these imbalances, sometimes perfectly to a T before you know continuing in the other direction. Price imbalance is when we either get a large momentous candle or where wicks are not meeting. So the easiest way for me to show you this is with the example below where we're going to look at three bullish or bearish candles in a row. So if we look at this example here, we have three bearish candles in a row. Okay, so it's all selling pressure. Now this would be classified as a balanced bit of price action. Because if we look at the wicks, you can see their meetings. So what does that mean? Well, if we look at the, the low of this first candle wick, you can see it, it was down here. We then had price come up and we had this candle coming down. And then the top of the third candle is meeting with the bottom of the first candle. So you can see there's no imbalance that has been left. So price has come down pull back a little bit, come down again, and then it's pulled back to rebalance and meet the bottom of this wick here with the top of the third wick, as you can see. Now an imbalance would be here. So we have the exact same thing with three candles, but you can see how the top of the, the bottom of the first wick here is not meeting with the top of the third wick. So this whole move from this week to this week, this bit of um, trading in here, this selling pressure is called an imbalance. So you can see where the wicks are not meeting. So that's basically what an imbalance is. And we have the bullish example here. So we have three bullish candles in a row. This is a balanced bit of price action because the top of the first wick is meeting with the bottom of the third wick. So it's balanced. And another word for it is, is efficient. So it's efficient price action. This is inefficient. This is efficient. Now an imbalance, you can see the same thing. We, we have a, a gap from the top of the first wick to the bottom of the third wick. So this is the imbalance in here. Now what I'm gonna do is go through Euro USD. Let's go on to that now. And I'm just gonna go through a month's worth of, you know, data on the hourly time frame and you can see some examples so i've drawn out some imbalances and some order blocks so let's go through it so zooming right into this bit of price section you can see we have the three candles coming down okay so one two and three a bearish push if we take the low from the first candle which is here and the high you can see this is an imbalance and i've put it on so the line here from this wick to this wick, you can see, let me just get on, there we go. So from here to here, this is an imbalance, okay? So price is likely to refill that before continuing. But if we also see this, this push down broke structure and we have an order block, which would be the last up move re refined down to this candle, price tapped in before then continuing. 
as you can see we tap in we rebalance that bit of efficiency inefficiency sorry and then we continue after tapping into the order block so this bit of price action here you can see we low high low high we're sort of pulling back each time we're making lows so we can classify this as you know efficient price action because all the wicks are sort of meeting with these pushes down which would be more seen on a lower time frame these these um efficient price action sort of moves but continuing on the next bit is here so we have a breaking structure we have three bearish candles so if we look at the low of this candle then the high of the third this would be the imbalance so you can see we also have have an order block which would be here because the momentum came in here so price comes all the way down here and then we eventually come back up pull back we come up again and we rebalance so you can see this wick here rebalances that inefficiency perfectly now we do fall just short of the order block but we could refine it down on a 15 minute time frame and you know get involved in that trade and yeah so if we look here we have a low lower high price then impulsively breaks structure here and we get three bullish candles in a row but if we look at this candle so one two and three we take the high of this candle and the low we can see we have imbalance price then pushes up pulls back it just taps into that imbalance but it, it leaves quite a lot left to uh, refill we then break structure we tap into this imbalance before rejecting we form some liquidity around this area but then we do eventually tap into it and you can see the bottom of the imbalance is here we have an order block price come down to tap into the order block to rebalance that inefficiency perfectly before continuing so this would be a very nice trade that we can get involved with but if we just move on after tapping in we break structure and you can see from here so we have one two three again three candles the high and the low you can see we're meeting so this is what we call efficient price action so as prices come down now this wick on a lower time frame will obviously be you know bearish candles we can classify this as you know efficient so price can come up from here we can move up to new highs as we as we did so the next bit is here the high of this candle to the low only a little bit of imbalance but you can see price wick down um, before you know continuing to the upside next bit is here so the high and the low this would be the imbalance price comes down with this wick excuse the drawings but then ultimately we continue up before pushing down now with imbalances it won't always uh, refill price completely to like a hundred percent what i've seen from my testing is if we get a an imbalance and it it comes down to refill it by at least 50 percent then that can be enough for price to then continue um, in that direction that we're looking at so it won't always refill price all the way now another thing is it won't always if we get a say an Im impulsive move up um, like this so this is a good example so we have this impulsive move up but you can see price never come back down to rebalance it now this just means that it can be used for a later date they won't always refill straight away so that's just something to keep in mind but if we just continue you can see we push down we have three candles here you know low momentum candle but we do have an imbalance price comes up to mitigate as i was saying to at least 50 percent then continued but then we do see some bullish pressure breaking structure and this is the imbalance that i was talking about that you know we have a lot of buying pressure here price never comes back down to test it we just continue up 
But if we continue, we can see we push up. We have one candle here, which would be a bit of imbalance on a lower time frame. Um, but then this sort of move up, we have imbalance. Price comes down to mitigate most of it. But ultimately, most of this move is efficient. We then impulse up breaking structure and we also have this little bit of imbalance that price feels here we have efficient price action with these wicks but we do have an order block so price come down eventually tapping into that order block so the last down candle which is here we tap in before continuing and then we have the exact same thing with price here so we break structure last down candle refined to this candle here we push in respect the order block and then break structure now this move is efficient and it is a bit of low momentum but it is still you know an order block and you can see we, we are on this pair we are clearly bullish so we're not coming below the higher lows and you know we're respecting these order blocks that are forming so again we break structure to the upside we have the high of this candle to the low which is an imbalance price comes back down to rebalance we tap into the order block and you can see we tap in three or four times we push off and then we come back down to mitigate to the 50 percent or just um, you know around 70 75 percent of the order block before continuing the next imbalance would be from this wick to this wick so this whole move is just nothing but buy-in which you know we had this push down which was mitigating this move so this was just probably a news candle um, but yeah moving on this is all efficient you can see how the wicks are you know matching they're meeting with each sort of move and three candles here wick to wick you know it's efficient price action so moving on we have here so if one two three this imbalance price comes down perfectly which would be seen you know more on a lower time frame but we come to balance price we push up push back down and then we have an imbalance here price comes up but then ultimately just breaks right through it impulsively so let's keep an eye on this bit of price for a future movement so we have an imbalance and we have a clear imbalance here as well which you can see price comes down okay so moving on we break structure the high and low price comes down to mitigate pushes back up and then we do see price move to the downside but as we broke structure here we could take the last up move refine it down to this candle price tapped into an order block and if you want to say we had an imbalance we could argue from this low to this high a little imbalance only a little but you know we still come up to refill that we have an imbalance here so a lot of buying pressure here comes down pushes off and then we, we fill it all here and we do reject off of this order block we wick below and this wick was ultimately just trying its best to you know refill this large move here and as you can see we do feel around 50% of it as I was saying you know 50% is a good sort of level where it likes to rebalance before continuing but if we continue we can see the next imbalance would be here from this low to this high price doesn't quite come down to refill it all we do break structure we have these little imbalances here we tap into the order block we reject it we tap in again reject it and then imbalance here i'm sure you can get the the, the um the concept of how powerful this is just from looking at this you know one month of data so next imbalance is here we come down an order block is formed we respect it we tap in we break off tap in again we leave this imbalance from this high to this low 
price comes down and again probably due to some news we wick below the imbalance tapping into an order block and then we see some heavy momentum to the upside and price comes back down we have a bit of imbalance that was left with these three candles and we have a bit of imbalance here price wicked it and we had an order block that was formed because we broke structure more seen on a lower time frame and then we have a lot of sellers coming into the market so the low of this candle to the high it's all imbalance as i'm sure you can see by now price comes back up we fall just short of the order block but again it can be refined down on a 15 minute time frame where we can get involved in this trade and i believe this was a trade that i did take now with imbalances what we can do is just use them as extra confluence when looking at a trade i don't never recommend you trade solely of imbalances because it's simply not enough to have as a confluence to trade in so it's better to use it so if we're looking at this as you know our so hourly time frame we, we're looking at this as a push down a pullback and a new low so this would be our lower high where we can look to get short from now what we can do is use the imbalance from here to here as just more of a confluence so if we was to you know push down come back up and rebalance this move but fall short of this order block as you can see we did before we put in a new low then we can still enter on our lower time frame breaks in structure because price is now efficient even though we just fell short of the order block price is efficient as we have rebalanced this move so we can still you know take advantage of this trade okay moving on we put in this new lower low we have an imbalance from this week to this week we pull back rebalance and then continue we have the exact same thing here so from this week to this week also from this week down to here you can see we rebalance it to the 50 percent before continuing well we, we respect the imbalance we push off and then ultimately we see some heavy momentum to the upside but i'm sure you can get the the rough idea of how powerful imbalances are now what i would want you to do is go onto your chart just like i've done here you know choose a pair you can use any asset on this um, that's tradable in the markets use anything you want any time frame and a bit of homework just go through it maybe you know a month data really dig deep into it like i have plot on your imbalances and order blocks and just see how it works and i'm sure you'll get to get to um start seeing the market differently and how it, it respects these imbalances um but yeah i hope this was helpful and let me know how you get on with your own um sort of back testing